Hi, this is Dr. Mike Headley in Bemidji, Minnesota, representing Explore Chiropractic. We are talking about seven habits of highly healthy people. I've been a doctor for 20, almost 25 years now, and so I have done some unofficial research in my practices throughout the years in several different states now. And I ask people all the time, what are your commonalities for health and well-being in your life? What do you do? And so, based on my research with thousands and thousands of people and based on people that uh, I, I've masterminded with, other seminars, thousands of books I've read, here is my top seven things that highly healthy people have in common. So just to recap, the top three, first one was drink. And I, to sum it up, drink half your body weight in ounces of water water. Part two is what, how we breathe. We should be abdominal belly breathers taking slow deep breaths in. I'm doing a program online right now. It talks about increasing your energy just with your breath. So it teaches us a three minute breathing exercise to increase your energy. Number three was exercise. Talking about the four basic components of exercise, cardiovascular strength, flexibility, and balance. Like Nike slogan is just do it. We have to do it every day, routine. Exercise is a, a specific action step that's focused to, to build flexibility, strength, muscle, <clears throat> cardiac output, lung capacity. And then fitness is just being active all the time in, in your business or walking, enjoying the beautiful summer we're having. So what's number four? Arguably, the most important step in seven habits of highly healthy people. I interviewed a great chiropractor this evening for something called the Chiropractic Success Summit. If you're interested in that, you can personal message me and I'll tell you when that's going to come out and how you can get access to that. But we talked about creating relationships. We talked about expectations of relationships. We talked about um, <clears throat> being genuine to loving and being grat showing gratitude towards the other person when we're creating relationships. So number four is how you think. It is so critical because whether you think you can or think you can't, you are right. It's really, really critical. <clears throat> most people know optimists. Most people know a few pessimists. Most people know people that when they walk into a room, they light up the room. And then on the other hand, people walk into a room and they kind <clears> of <throat> dampen the mood and the energy. We all have our favorite people we want to hang out with that just lift us up. And then when we're around certain people, they kind of drag us down. And so some of the exercises that I really like to really help you think positively every day, I like to write down three things you're grateful for every morning when you get up. You can write a one sentence. If you're grateful for your spouse, write down why you're grateful for them. Do they make you coffee every day? Do they make you breakfast and lunch? Do they you know, give you a kiss on the cheek when they wake up? How about when you go to bed? Three more things you're grateful for and then summarize the day. What lessons did you learn? What things did you trade your time in for today? How about your children? How are they uh, <clears throat> making you happy and influencing your thinking? My absolute favorite book, and I've had thousands of books in my possessions, read thousands of books in my life, is by Carol Truman. Feelings Buried Alive Never Die, by far and away my favorite, favorite book of all time when it comes to how to think. It talks what we focus on the most in our lives will be manifested, and it talks about where our feelings come from and where our thoughts come from, our mothers, fathers, teachers, and preachers, and talks about the left and right brain and how when they're working together, and our, our head and our heart work together, then we can attract into our life and we can attract positive things into our life and we can create positive chemistry in our brain and our nervous system so we can have abundant health and wealth and well-being and peace of mind. So that's really, really critical to focus on how you think. So just to recap, seven habits of highly healthy people, part four, 
is how you think. Part three is exercise. Part two is breathing, belly breathing, deep breathing. Part one is what you drink, mostly water, half your body weight in ounces of water. And you can throw in a bulletproof coffee, you can throw in a kombucha, you can throw in some green tea, but then you're really going to be uh, drinking a lot of liquids that day. I hope this added some value. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please uh, show them down below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. And if any questions you have on the upcoming Chiropractic Success Summit, please let me know. It's going to be fabulous, unbelievable content that's going to improve all aspects of your life. This is Dr. Mike Headley at Explore Chiropractic in Bemidji, Minnesota. Happy, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks.